All right, start out at ujam.com and log in. If you have a Google account, one of the options is to log in with your Google account, and that's very easy. I'm not going to do that because I've already filled up my tracks on my Google account. So I'm going to use this account. Once you log in, it'll take you to your dashboard, and you can usually pick one of these tracks. I've already got songs in there, but I do have an empty track here. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to launch the UGM Studio. It'll take a few seconds for that to load the first time and you have some different options on how you can do this. If you already had a vocal track recorded you could upload it but we're going to do the record vocals or instrument option. I'm assuming that you will just sing into the microphone. I'm going to allow access to my microphone and I'm going to put this on mute. If you have headphones, you could put the metronome to on and then it will click, but you don't want it to click if you don't have headphones because then that click will be heard by your microphone. So I'm going to pick mute. You need to tap the tempo. So have the person who's going to sing your tune to sing and as they are singing, just tap to the beat because that will let you jam pick the tempo of the song. Notice that it guessed that was about 91 beats per minute. So, I'm not actually going to sing this, but I'm going to show you what you would do. You'll click record when you're ready, and the metronome will give you 1, 2, 3, 4 as a count off, and right here you'd be singing, and you want to keep it right on the beat. That's the challenge here, because if you're off the beat, it will mess up in the next step. So you would just hit stop. UJAM is going to convert that to something that it can use, and then you'll click continue. After it brings your audio into UJAM you will see something like this. Now I cheated because I actually just uploaded a track that a friend of mine sang and she did a really good job. She did better than I would do. So I'm going to use her track. But you would have your vocals down here and you notice that even before I play this that UJAM has guessed at the chords that it thinks would be best for that music. There is no background music in this yet though until I pick a style. So it's on select style right now. I know for this song I'm going to want to do pop and vocal group. But you can see that there's a wide variety of options. So you want to try a few and see which one you like. So that gives you an idea of what it's going to sound like. And then I'm going to select that. And I want to show you that, first of all, I did not even line this up right. It's very possible that your track won't be lined up on the beat right, and it'll sound really sloppy. So I haven't lined mine up yet, but I'm just going to play this so you can hear it. Okay, that's kind of sloppy because she's not on the beat. I have already lined this up before, so I know that to line it up, I probably need to put it about right there. But sometimes you'll have to experiment a little bit and try to figure out where that beat is. These are the measures. And if you're able to feel the beat at all, you'll usually figure out which words are falling on the downbeat or on the first beat of the measure. I'm going to play this now that I realigned it. And let's see how this one sounds. and that to me that sounds good and I know that it's probably good enough that I could download it if I was just going to use this for a quick background track to a short music video. I did want to show you there are some other options. Um, if you don't like the style remember you can change it again in here and select style. If you don't think the chords were picked correctly by UJAM, UJAM guesses those chords. If you don't agree with some of the decisions that it made through the programming you actually can go in here and edit chords and you can pick a different chord. I won't go into that a lot. Song form, you notice that my vocal track pretty much fits within this one section that it's calling chorus one. Every once in a while in UJAM I notice that a song will go past this and then it'll change into a verse. UJAM will just guess that oh that must have been a verse and that's not correct. Like right here the music would change to a verse and it wouldn't sound right. So sometimes you have to drag these in and change this other part to chorus. Um, if you have that case, you will see what I mean and you can easily fix that. 
Some other things that you can change, you can change the effect on the vocals. If I click this, there are many options for vocal effects. And I can change the mix down here if I want to turn the vocals up or down. If the vocals were good but they were off a little bit because the person was not singing with an instrument, you can try improve tuning and you can turn that up. But the vocalist for this one, I think she did a good job. Once you're happy with the song and it sounds like you want, you just need to save it. So I'm going to click on save and share. I could save the project over here. I'm not going to save that because that'll take up a slot in UJAM, but you could save that so that you don't lose your work. But what I want to save is the MP3 file, the actual mixed down audio file that I can share with other people. So I'm going to click save on that and it will ask me to change the name if I want to. It'll ask me where I want to save it on my computer. Just remember where that goes because you might need it for the next step. So I click save and it downloads it. It's really that easy to make a song with UJAM.